Hello and welcome back. So what I have here is an original Xbox, obviously, and uh, there's actually absolutely nothing wrong with this Xbox. I'm just going to be giving it a clean, but not in this video. If you want to see uh, how to tear down uh, an Xbox and put it back together, check out the description below. I have uh, two videos on how to do that. It's a two-parter. So what we're going to be working on here today is the clock capacitor. Now, um, I don't know if this one is leaking, but whether it leaked or not, I will be replacing it. And reason is, is these Xboxes, except for the very final model, um, they're all ticking time bombs. So what happens is over, I guess about a decade, um, the clock capacitor fails, and that's what holds on to the time when you unplug the Xbox. So you actually don't need to replace it. I do because I'm kind of more of an originalist, so I like having consoles I work on to be fully functional on how they left the factory, so we'll be upgrading to a higher quality capacitor today. But you can, you can just remove it and it'll be fine, and I'll show you how to do that as well if you just want to go that route and not pay the 30 cents for a capacitor. So um, it'll work fine if you just remove it, just if, whenever you unplug it, you're going to have to put in the time, so that's not a big deal. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it, so let's just get cracking into this thing. So the alcohol I sprayed actually just helps to get the glue up a little bit, especially as you're peeling it off. It's never going to be perfect when you put stick it back in. You can just poke through if you want. I just try to make it look a little neater. So that's that. Right, let's get this more open. All right, so the console's apart now, and uh, that's the capacitor right there. If you need if you need help finding it, it's going to say Power Store Aerogel on the side. And uh, I'm actually shocked this one didn't leak because I have the same Xbox model, and all around here it was just electrolyte everywhere, and it was a real pain in the butt to clean. <laughs> but uh, 
This one shockingly hasn't leaked, so I mean that doesn't mean we're not going to do the work. You, you have to do the work. Like I was saying, this is a this is an absolute ticking time bomb. So even though this hasn't leaked now, in a couple of years it's probably going to start leaking, and when that does and it goes unchecked, that electrolyte from that capacitor is going to eat through the board. So we're still going to remove it and uh, replace it. So I'm going to continue disassembling, and I'll see you on the next part of this. All right, we're all set to remove the uh, old capacitor. So uh, what we're going to be needing to, for the removal and replacement part of it is our alcohol to clean up the flux. Uh, we'll need our flux, a solder sucker, a solder wick, something to apply the flux, our solder, soldering iron, and a new uh, capacitor. Um, but if you're not going to be doing the replacement part of it, I'll show you how to just remove the old one and it'll be, it'll be fine. It won't impact any usability or anything. So if you just want to remove the capacitor instead of going through all this, basically all you're going to really do is grab a hold of it and you're going to just keep twisting it back and forth. And you're going to put fatigue on the metal on the legs and then eventually it's just going to it's just going to break off. Now, it might leak, so you'll need the alcohol and the cotton swab or a toothbrush actually will work better so you don't rip accidentally rip these off the pads um, to clean up any electrolyte that comes off. But that's the basic um, basic method to do it. Now the better, best way to do it is to use a soldering iron and to desolder it from the board. But if you don't have a soldering iron and you just want to remove it, that's a quick way you can do it. Although that's not the that's not best methods for doing it. So you want to make sure you're removing the correct capacitor and that's it right there. So let's put a little flux on. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a little a little bit of new solder on there. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna mix with the old solder and hopefully make this a little easier to remove. Double check that you're doing this to the right capacitor. So when you flip the board over, it gets a little confusing. Alright. Let's see if this is gonna work. Mix results with these solder suckers. favorite part. Alright. Is that enough? It is not. Alright, time for the whip. So, the one here on the left is the one that we removed, the Power Store Aerogel, and the one on the right is the one we're going to be replacing it with. So, what you will need is a capacitor that is 2.5 volts and 1 farad, 1.0 farad. 
I got mine on DigiKey, you can get yours wherever, just make sure you get a good quality one. You can also order them from most uh, gaming party websites as well. Let's put this in. Now you do want to pay attention to how you put this in. If you put this in the wrong way, you'll just blow out the capacitor. So the negative with the stripe always corresponds to the white part of the circle on the board. And if you get confused, you can just look at other capacitors on the board and kind of see how those are put in. But yeah, the short leg goes to the white part of the circle. Now I flip the board around and put the legs down just to lock it in place. Flicks. All right, so that'll wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for coming along. Reassembly is just the opposite of disassembly, but yeah, all in all, it's a pretty easy job. And like I said, if you want to just remove that capacitor, you totally can, that's an option. And uh, so yeah, this is uh, good to go. Don't have to worry about any issue for future issues related to that. So thank you so much for coming along on this. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have ideas for future videos, please leave a comment below for me. And uh, if you like this video and you don't want to miss future videos, please subscribe. That'll help me out a lot to grow this channel a little bit as well. So again, thanks. thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.